Hey there, Ben, waterfall guy. Today, instead of going for a waterfall, I'm gonna bring you to a place I've been before. I call it Gotham Castle. These are really cool rock formations on Cape Blomidon. I typically don't go back to places I've been before, but Gotham Castle is a really unique spot. And this time around, I got my little droney. So it'd be cool to see what a drone can do. In order to reach Gotham Castle, I've uh, parked in Scott's Bay. I'm using a logging road here for a while. And then there'll be some bushwhacking. And there's a small little valley that leads you to the Fundy Shore. Obviously, you have to look at the tide charts. Make sure you got enough uh, tide to walk along the beach. Once you've reached the Bay of Fundy, you'll walk about a kilometer on the shoreline. Again, making sure that you got the low tide with you. At that point, you're at the base of the Gotham Castle. To reach them, I would call this extreme. So don't attempt it if you don't have prior experience of rock climbing or bushwhacking or, or general mountain goading skills. So I, took a, I took a trail through the woods from uh, Scotts Bay and made it all the way across North Mountain. And now I'm standing in front of the Bay of Fundy. And this would be a few hundred feet drop. Uh, you can't see anything right now in the fog. Hopefully this burns off. So now the bushwhack begins. Uh, this little section to get into the small ravine can be steep in some places. So, I mean, if there's an option, just go around. If you're sure-footed, just kind of pick the line that you want. I would rate this as moderate to difficult, depending on your skill level. Um, the last part where I'll climb to the castle is definitely extreme. Good thing about getting into these ravines on the Blomidon Peninsula is it hasn't been logged in probably ever. So have a look here at these trees. So I made it halfway down the ravine and instead of going right to the shoreline, I decided to cut across at the foot of the cliffs, uh, all the way to the castle. Um, right now, a bit harder than usual, so the snowpack is still here. And sometimes it's really hard packs, so it's more like ice. So you really have to be extra careful. You always have to be careful, but this is a little bit more than usual. So I've made it to the castle. Uh, Fortunately, it's still really foggy. I'll try uh, to fly a little drone and see what that gives, but uh, here's one of them. It's really high, it has like a, this wicked overhang on one side. This is one really cool area if you ever get the chance. Again, I'm gonna say that uh, the climb is probably extreme. Oh, don't attempt it if you don't know what you're doing. Here are the cliffs on the, uh, on the Blomidon side of the peninsula. And 
then on this side is one of the castles. Just massive in front of me. So I'm standing here at the sweet spot. I got uh, the main castle there in the back of me. Almost. So yeah, it's called Gotham Castle. Um, took a buddy here for the first time. Uh, it was my first time as well. He named it. It kind of looks like Gotham Castle, right, from Batman. Uh, Ryan. Ryan Barry, the guy behind the Great Earth Expeditions, he named this place uh, Gotham Castle. Uh, great guy, great company, you should check it out. So I made it back to the top of uh, Cape Blomenden and uh, unfortunately today it's really sunny but uh, the Bay of Fundy is so cold uh, it's caught in a huge fog pocket and uh, I wasn't really able to make a little droney fly which is unfortunate but I'll just have to come back some other time. So right below me is another set of these uh, pinnacles uh, just off the cliff. Not sure if you can see them in the fog really well, but they're just 